Hello, my name is Wendell Mitchell. Um, I'm a student in SEC 510, Creating and Managing Engaging Learning Environments. Uh, in this specific video, I will go over two expectations that I have for my class. The first one will be the main expectation for every student is to be respectful of not only the teacher, but also their classmates. The second one will be students are to maintain clean and organized workspaces. Um, The important tasks that are inherent to the ex my expectations are simply respecting each other, respecting the materials, respecting the teacher. Um, if there's respect going on, then there's less disrespect, less discipline problems that um, are occurring. Um, also with that, uh, making sure that everything is organized because I am a band teacher, um, making sure everything is organized and clean so all parts and instrument parts are accounted for so uh, those are very in inherent tasks that uh, support my expectations how setting the stage introducing expectations and procedures and rules helps create culture of community within <clears throat> the classroom uh, one thing I do is allow students to help create the expectations. So um, the students help me create these two particular ones so they understand that respect um, goes a long way. They understand that I'm big on respect. So they clearly understand if they break this rule, uh, they would definitely be disciplined. Another thing that it support... Um, it help that supports the classroom community is the power of collaboration. So students coming up with these different expectations together helps helps them learn how to collaborate with each other. <clears throat> Challenges faced when creating the classroom as a community. First one that you're going to encounter is balancing the different learning needs of each student. Every student learns faster or slower um, or maybe even on a different level or under the level you have to make sure when you are planning to try to plan around these type of things and if you come if those come up those students need those are there are students that need extra help you have to plan accordingly to help those students excuse me another one is respecting the expectations from uh school administrators when you setting your classroom procedures and rules it may go against what the administrators have set. So you want to be sure that you let them know what you're doing. Communicate with them and let them know, you know, hey, I'm going to be doing this in my class. I'll be doing this in my class only for the day. Um, just make sure you have a solution for the administrators. <clears throat> specific, specific strategies to establish discipline. Uh, one things one of the things that I use is having a warm up or we call them bell ringers, just something to get the students started. Um, I monitor hall passes so students are not in the hallways, and I have a plan for my tardies so students understand. Okay, I need to make sure I get down to being in class because I do not want Mr. Mitchell to be mad at me, um, or I do not want to get in trouble with Mr. Mitchell for being late to his class. Technology. Um, how can technology, or I'm sorry, how, yeah, how to use technology to promote community and authentic learning experiences. One way is research, um, research assignments, because students are going to have to do research in higher level education or just for their jobs. And also Nearpod. Nearpod is a very interactive PowerPoint presentation that helps <clears throat> students study um they can go back and reference it uh it has a, where you can do the practice slides um nearpod is a very good learning tool for students um and i use it a lot uh all that to say that creating a community classroom has its ups and downs but establishing those rules first and getting the students involved will help keep down the discipline issues or the disruptions in your class. So uh, just be sure to establish those rules early. <clears throat>